Any sensible person knows there's a climate emergency and there's a biodiversity emergency, and if we don't address it, we'll be in trouble. And as much as the far right want to deny it, the impacts will cost our society very dearly. But I think we have to recognise, Taoiseach, that huge numbers of people have become alienated from the climate action and biodiversity uh, action agenda because they see climate action as a punishment rather than as improving their lives. And we have to change that. And if we don't recognise that we're losing the room with a lot of people on this issue, we're, go we're heading for trouble. Uh, in fact, we're on the way there already. Now, what could we do to change that? We need to stop punishing people with various taxes, like carbon taxes, uh, or other uh, excise fuel increases, or whatever, and instead make l people's lives better with climate action. I mean, the pace, for example, of the retrofit of council houses is pathetically slow. But if we accelerated it, if we retrofitted people's homes where the homes were warmer, uh, their bills went down, uh, and that was done on scale, you, that would give people confidence in climate action. Thank if we made public transport free uh, and improved the quality and frequency of it, that would give people uh, confidence in climate action. So we need a radical reset, to use the language of the Housing Commission, in climate action so that it actually makes ordinary people's Thank lives you, Deputy. better. Deputy, Deputy Boy Barrett, I, 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 was, I was agreeing with you for the first couple of sentences there and then, then, then we have a point of disagreement because I do believe that we have to bring people with us when it comes to climate. And I do think one of the big challenges we're facing at the moment is that often, and I don't just mean us in Ireland, I mean the world, is often that climate can seem terribly lectury. Like the science is very clear. There's a climate emergency, the planet's on fire, we need to take very significant action. Uh, I'm fully signed up for all the climate targets. But when, when you portray that as, not you, when one portrays that as, you know, that means that the family farm is no longer viable, or that means that the, that zero-sum game doesn't work. We have to actually incentivize and help people make that transition so that they can continue to produce food and have food security, so that we can continue to have jobs, so that we can look at the opportunities in terms of jobs uh, in the green economy. Where we divert is on the issue of, uh, of taxation, because I do believe, uh, I do believe that by ring-fencing the money that we have received through that, we have seen very significant benefit. I'm saying this figure off the top of my head, I believe it to be correct, but I, I heard it yesterday, I don't have it written in front of me. I think we're now seeing a thousand homes a week uh, being retrofitted in Ireland. I think we're seeing around a hundred uh, homes a week putting solar panels um, on their roofs. We are beginning to see real progress in relation to the scale that we need to see around retrofitting. And that, be it local authority homes or indeed the private homes, is being funded through the carbon tax. We have a different view on how to fund it, uh, but that is where we are putting the money from the carbon tax into both, uh, into both retrofitting, into fuel poverty, and indeed into the fuel, into the fuel allowance as well. Uh,